Well, while Halloween may seem like a lot of fun for kids with the costumes and the candy, for some of those kiddos, it can be a lot of times creating those fears with the scary decor and costumes that are out there. So join us today to talk about those fears and really how to help manage them as Stanford Children's Integrated Therapist, Alana Dan Duren. Did I get the name correct? Yes, oh, you did. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> I think this you. is probably more pervasive than people realize, and a lot of kids maybe even don't even talk about it. So I guess first, how do you sort of recognize and talk about with your kids that, hey, this Halloween thing's coming up, can be a little bit scary? Right, absolutely. Yeah, it's quite common, and it's important to remember that a lot of the kids that are going to be scared or have more fears at Halloween are younger kids and so they might already be afraid of the dark they might be afraid of monsters or scared of loud noises or sensitive to loud noises and Halloween is a combination of all of these things so it's completely normal developmentally to be afraid of these things and kids need to learn how to master a fear they need that experience of mastering fear in order to be competent as adults so so how can the parents then help if they are at that stage where they're, you know, calling you into their room at night to check for monsters or maybe they don't want you to turn off all the lights when they go to bed? Well, right. And it's absolutely completely normal. So that's going to be really important. So an important thing would be normalizing and validating for your child that, yeah, it's okay to have these fears and it's okay to feel these emotions. A good thing that parents can do is they can model for their child their own fears or times where they felt scared and then show them what they do to make themselves feel better or what they do to help <clears throat> ease their own anxiety. Um, they can just ask their kids to talk to them about their fears. So give them a safe space to discuss their fears, but don't push them to face a fear that they're not prepared to face yet. So saying you shouldn't be afraid of this or don't be afraid of this isn't gonna make that fear go away. We just want parents or caregivers to give their child a really safe space to talk about it and then offer them some reassurance and some support. Yeah. I like what you said about master your fears. Mm -hmm. Talk more about that. I, I think I can learn from that. So what do you mean? Well, it's normal to be, like I said, afraid of the dark or afraid of monsters. And as children age, they're normally just going to overcome this. So as they mature, as they uh, <clears throat> are able to better tell the difference between what's real and what's reality, they're going to start to overcome fears. So younger kids might not be able to understand that people in scary costumes or the scary decorations aren't real. They might actually think that those things are out to get them or after them. And so they can learn that that's not necessarily the case or that's not mm -hmm. true. Um, yeah, and I think a good idea for a lot of parents too is you know, opening up that conversation and then have them participate in Halloween in the fun ways, the mm -hmm. non-scary, you yeah. know, take them out earlier, go to the pumpkin yes. patches instead of a haunted house. Absolutely, a great thing that parents or caregivers can do is they can teach them that it is just a person underneath the mask. So if you have family or friends, they could take their mask off, show them, look, it's just me under here, or have your kids help you get ready if you're gonna dress up for Halloween so they can witness that transformation from <clears throat> parent or caregiver into the character that you're gonna dress up as. So what age, you talked about mastering the fear, what age should you typically get over that? And if your son or daughter is still, still sort of having an inordinate reaction to something, do they come see you or what do you suggest? Right, so there's not necessarily a specific age where you need to be over that. You just need to be thinking <clears throat> of your own child's developmental level and their maturity. And so as they grow and mature, they're gonna start to kind of let go of some of these fears. Mm -hmm. If it's not developmentally appropriate anymore and they're still having those fears, or if the fears are starting to interfere with their daily activities or preventing them from doing things they want to do or stopping them from having fun, then it might be time to talk to your pediatrician or consult a behavioral health professional. Yeah, and use that parent judgment that you have too. Yeah. 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 Is this something they're going to get over? Is it a phase? It's really like Heather said, too. It never hurts at least to go talk to somebody. Right, exactly. Get yeah. some feedback. Great stuff. We appreciate it. Great. Thank you. Stick around. We'll wrap things up right after this.